happy people i'm back with another video and today i am hopping right into this organization video if you want to see how i organize this current photo album with all of my previous nail stickers i will leave that video link down in the description box i filmed this video a few months ago and i was just organizing the new stickers that i have um, to my nail art collection as well as me organizing my water slide decals and my stamping plates and so this is going to be a combination of a little bit of ASMR as well as my thought process on how I organize my collection so sit back relax and enjoy Oh, these are Easter, okay. Do you have a good sleep? some nail stickers that I have like nail wraps I'm not quite sure what I want to do with these yet I thought about putting them in a the photo album but don't think that's the most effective way to do it so not sure what I'm gonna do with these just yet so I'm gonna set those to the side but um, I do have this photo album here that I want to um, go ahead and put these stickers into because uh, these stickers here they're more like holiday themed so I really didn't want to put just the random stuff in there with it um well actually maybe the abstract stuff i can put with um the holiday stickers oh actually these are holiday stickers these are easter stickers here okay so i'm gonna go ahead and put those in here at the end behind halloween let's see 
Yeah, so these can go right here because they're Easter. I don't think they need their own page, so I'll just do like this. Yeah. I'll put those in here like that. Um, and I think, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just start a new album for these stickers here. So these are the ones that have the old English letter and abstract art. And then my one little, uh, my one little beautiful luxury nail art. So I'm going to have that be the first thing here. And then after that, I'll go ahead and put in my uh, old English letters here. So I'm going to do... We're gonna do, let's see. Let's see so I'm gonna do like the gold and the hollow gold together. I'm gonna just put those back to back here. And then I have the rose gold. Oh no, I have the silver and the hollow silver. So I'm gonna put those together back to back. I guess technically too, I could put the rose gold behind the gold. But I kind of want the rose gold to be by itself because it's pretty. So maybe I'll do the rose gold and the white together just, just because. So we have these two. Okay. And then, um, no, I want the white to be by itself as well. So we're gonna do the rose gold on this side. white like this can't even see it <laughs> and then we'll do black actually no so the rose gold and this purple will go together and then white and black will go next to each other so like this and then white and then black Now I have these abstract nail art stickers. So I think what I want to do is these two look pretty similar. So I'm going to pair these together. Um, let's see. And then let me keep those separate. Okay, so I'm going to do. So this is kind of like the blue family. This is more like a color family here. Okay, so I guess I'm going to do these back to back. They're slightly different, but I'm going to still... No, I'll do them to their own page. So, we'll have this one like this. And this one like this. And I actually have some abstract nail art in another book, so I'll have to bring, bring that over here. We have this one with the faces. I'll put that here. And then we have this one that kind of has shapes and faces. So we'll put this here. And I'll put this one here. And then that's the last one. So we'll just put that here for now. Okay, so that is everything. This is just a really quick sticker organization video. I just wanted to go ahead and put some of my stickers away. I do have more storage coming soon for this. So I am going to um, film that once I receive it in the mail. I'm actually gonna go ahead and order that right now. Um, I have like, I wanna store these in like the business card holder. I think I have a lot of these. So I wanna store these in the business card holder. So I just came across like a few more stickers that I have. I didn't know that I had these luxury stickers here and then some more Christmas stickers. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those away. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those away. And then I also wanna show you all how I redo my foil. I'm sorry, how I redo my um, stamping plate organization because I got better storage options for it now. Um, but really quick, let's put these away. So this is so this is my holiday themed book here, and 
These look very similar to these, so I'm gonna go ahead and just put them behind here. I am gonna have to go through and kind of redo my stickers all together though, because um, I do want it to be where this sheet probably has its own place, but you see how these are kind of essentially the same sticker, just different colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put this behind here like that, but I do want to give that its own page, so I'll do that at a later date. Well, actually, this is what I can do. Now that I'm looking, if I leave the gold here, like that, okay, and because these two are essentially kind of the same, I can actually put these behind one another. Actually, I think these are exactly the same. Yeah, I don't know why I have those separate. So I could put these two together like that and then keep my multicolored one here like this. Yeah, that makes more sense. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that here like that. Okay, so that is that sticker here and then I have my luxury stickers, which, what did I do with that album? I don't even know what I did with my photo album with the luxury stickers. Oh, here it is, okay, right in my face. Here is my album with my luxury stickers in here. So I'm gonna just take my Dior stickers. I'm gonna just put it right next to my Louis Vuitton for now. Again, I'm gonna go through and like reorganize everything to be better efficient for me. But this is just what I have for now. I'm gonna just put these here for now, but that's, this is not how I'm gonna keep it though, you know? So, I don't like how that looks actually. Okay, so maybe I'll just keep it like this for now and then later I'll reorganize it when need be, but yeah. I think that's everything for this. Okay, so this is how I have this organized now. So this is like my luxury stickers, my letters, which I actually ordered more of off of Shein, and then some abstract stuff. Okay, I do have an abstract sticker in another book, but I'll sort that out later. So those are my books here. And then I found a better storage option for my stamping plates. Um, so for this, well, let's start with this book. This book here I really like, and I was thinking about storing my, um, these stickers in here, like the small square stickers, because they fit in here perfectly, right? But I just have so many of the squ small square stickers, it wouldn't make sense for me to utilize this book for that reason. So I, I ordered like the um, baseball cord, baseball card organization thing and I'm gonna use a three ring binder to organize these stickers just because I wanted to be able to have them all on display um, so I have that coming on the way it's coming in from Amazon um, but I did think that this would be a great um, book for my water slide decals because I have just a few of those so these are my water slide decals that I have um, got these from like various places um, I think one was in a giveaway box and then this one I got from Linnell's by name. And so I'm gonna just go ahead and organize these in here like that. See how these work, okay. Okay, so I have to put it back to back then. So I'll do like this. Okay, and I'll put it in there. And that works. And then if I flip. Okay, that's good. So yeah, I'll organize it like this. Oh no, it has its own slot. Okay. Oops, so let me take this one off. Okay. Feels kind of loose though. And then I'll put this one in here. Like that. Um, I'll go ahead and put the origami in here like this. And then I'll do the roses here. And this is my very small water slide decal collection, okay? So we got this, so we got this, and this, 
this and this and that's it so then as my water slide decal collection grows this is where I can keep them at so that works for me and then the last thing is um, this um, this little booklet for my stamping plates so this I actually got from a nail sister and they're a great organization items because um, I feel like my stamping plates are going to make more sense in here as opposed to having them in this photo album so I don't really have a lot of stamping plates I have just like it only fills up like the first few pages in here right and then like that's it and then the rest of this whole album is empty uh, with the exception of this so I'll put this in another album actually this album here has some miscellaneous stuff in the back so I will just put this with this over here like that so that has a place now all the rest of these pages are empty so this is going to make more sense to have as another sticker album than it would to keep my stamping plates in here so I'm gonna go ahead and just take all of my plates well actually yeah I'll take my plates out one by one and just organize them in here I'll just do like this because it's going to be easier to just take them all out like this. Yeah. And then I'll take out my scrapers here. Okay. So I have been wanting to get into getting more like Disney stickers. Um, I think I have some Care Bear stickers coming on the way. Like so Mickey. Disney like the princesses and things like that so maybe because this has like the different characters on it or faces or whatever I'll try to maybe start my um, Disney collection stickers in here so I'll keep that album for that and then now onto my stamping plates I'm gonna go ahead and put those in here so I did have two Christmas ones and then the rest were um, just like random prints so I think these are in a pocket together like these are in a pocket together okay. these were in a pocket together and then these were the last three so these are Christmas so I'm gonna put my Christmas ones here up top and then let's see can two of these go to a page no I think just one okay so then I'm going to start with my wider ones first and actually I'll start with my skinny ones first so I'll just start with maybe this here actually let me start with butterflies I'll start with butterflies because I'm probably likely to use that first I want to put it in order and stuff that I think I would like reach for more often so I'll put my butterflies here the next page I'll put like these little floral type items here And then um, I'll go with cats next, and then shapes next, okay, and then more shapes. I'll put this in there, okay, and then from there, let's see what else we got. We have Christmas. Okay, so we got more butterfly, kind of floral outdoor shapes and then kind of different patterns here and then the last few can be Christmas so I'll do maybe these this has, those have snowflakes so I'll do like this one here snowflakes here Okay, and then at the very end, I'll put these here. Okay, so this like this makes more sense for my stamping plates. And then for now, at the very end, these are my scrapers. I'm gonna just go ahead and put that at the very very last slot here, just so that you know I can keep kind of everything all in one place. And so yeah, so this is now how I'm gonna organize my stamping plates. So you'll see here, I got my butterfly stamping plates. Um, I have, let me just zoom in. So just zoom in so y'all can see. So then I have my butterfly stamping plates here. I got some just like random leaves, animal with cats and stuff. I have, let's see, 
different shapes. But yeah, these are all of my plates here. And then what's nice about this is, right, I still have room to grow. So I still have room for, let's see, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. 14. So I think I have room for still like 14 more plates. So this is the perfect storage option for me when it comes to my stamping plates. And then I got my water slide decals and then my photo album. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, I think I might splice it in with my nail sticker organization video. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my nail therapy Thursday videos where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails. And if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye.